Hello students, I welcome you all for the next chapter of your science and the name of this chapter is Cell Biology and Biotechnology. So, before we go into the chapter, let me try and tell you what are the concepts, what are the points which we will cover here. We will cover the points in this chapter. Karenge, okay? So students, the chapter is mainly divided into two parts. As the heading says, cell biology is one part and biotechnology is the other part. Hai. Okay? Under cell biology, students, I will take you through what is the concept of cytology. Then I will teach you a very interesting concept. Okay? It is one of the latest happenings in biology very interesting that is I'll teach you about stem cells then I will go further ahead and I'll teach you about the types of stem cells and lastly I shall teach you about what are the benefits or what are the uses of stem cells students this will help us to finish the first section of the chapter and then we will go on to the second section of the chapter that is biotechnology. Here I will teach you what is the concept of biotechnology. What is biotechnology and what is how do we use it. So I will give you a general idea and when you get a general idea you will automatically be able to understand its uses. So then we will go on to what is called as what are the commercial uses of biotechnology. Okay, and when I say commercial uses meaning how can we generate economy, how can we generate money, how can we create businesses from the use of biotechnology like making medicines, making vaccines, uh, making the best fertilizers and all of that. So these are the points which we will cover here and lastly we will cover in the last part of the chapter some of the other applications of biotechnology in short. So that will just be like a small section that what is the future of biotechnology and what are the small small things that we are able to do. Okay, so this is how the chapter is going to be divided as I share with you that is one, two cytology, stem cells, types of stem cells, uses of stem cells and then biotechnology, the concept of biotechnology, commercial uses of biotechnology and the other applications of biotechnology. So students, you can pause your screens here and take the notes first of the left hand side of the virtual board and then on the right hand side of the virtual board and then we could start the chapter ahead. So, students, as we go further ahead, we try to understand what is cytology. Students, the word cytology can be broken down into two parts as you can see, where the word logy means study and where the word cyto means cell. Okay, so cytology is the study of cell. Okay, students, we all know there was a scientist who had discovered cells for the first time, and the name of this scientist was Robert Hooke. He was the scientist who gave us cells, who discovered cells for the first time, dead cells were discovered by him, and therefore. Robert Hooke is also very often called as the father of cytology okay because we are giving him respect because he's he is the one who gave the world as to that living cell, living organisms or living things jo hai wo cell se bane hai ye jankari sabse pehle discover ki uh, Robert Hooke ne aapne lower standards mein padha hoga usne apna khud ka microscope design kiya tha or usne cells ko padhe the. Okay, so that is how the entire field of cytology has come to known to the world. This happened in the year 1600. So after 1600, the study of cells became more and more developed and different scientists started doing a lot of work 
and this work continued till the year 1800 and of course it is still going on okay but uh, from 1600 onwards the research in cells have started okay so let us go on uh, to our systems and understand the few points about cy cytology okay so students you can pause your screen aap apne screen pause kar sakte hain aur beech beech mein notes le sakte hain jo main bata raha hu so that you know aapko jo sara jo chapter hai jo you know ekdam story form mein hai is bar uh, wo aap ekdam aasani se aap notes bana ke point wise cheezon ko yaad rakh sakta hai so you can definitely do that okay so cytology is the study of cells the father of cytology was professor scientist robert hook who discovered cells in the year 1665 and students cells have certain characteristics cell ki kuch visheshtaye hoti hai okay so we now try to look at certain characteristics and key points about the cell and here we understand my dear students that all living organisms are made up of cells every living organism all living things the apple the cat the dog the mouse the strawberry the rat the squirrel the the dinosaur the elephant you and me you all made up of cells okay and interesting living organisms i'm writing short form l dot o living organisms they can be either made up of one cell that is unicellular yahan pe uni ka matlab hota hai one the word uni means one cellular meaning cell and there are living organisms like you and me who are made up of many cells multiple cells they are called as multicellular so multicellular organisms are made up of many cells okay but it is very interesting why am i sharing this with you is that every multicellular organism when it was born it was a single cell like you and me once upon a time inside our mothers when we were developed first we were a single cell and then this single cell underwent division and when it went division it became two cells and when it went further division it became four cells and when it went further cell division like this type of cell division continued and then slowly this living organism became a ball of cells students i'm specially see how pro, how i'm pronouncing mai kis tarah se baat kar raha hu it became a ball of cells when it became a ball of cells now this is termed as embryo okay so students understand we all were once upon a time a single cell and then slowly slowly cell division happened and then we became embryos students these terms are important when i will teach you the next concepts so wherever i'm focusing i will request you uh, to please pause your screens and take some notes okay to ye embryo hum sab ke sab kabhi na kabhi hamari mother ke andar embryo the ab iske andar for example imagine karo ki ye human hai okay ye hum humans ki baat kar rahe hain तो अभी ये एम्ब्रियो स्टेज में क्या आपको हार्ट दिख रहा है इसमें क्या आपको इसमें ब्रेन दिख रहा है क्या आपको इसमें स्टमक दिख रहा है नहीं दिख रहा है 
what am I trying to tell you? Students, at this stage, the organs are not developed. At the stage of embryo, the organs are not developed. Now, slowly, slowly, the organs will start developing. And when the organs will start developing, at that time, now it is no longer called as an embryo, now it's called as a fetus. And when all the organ when all the organs develop properly and completely, then it is called as organism. I hope this is very clear. So how did we get an organism from a single cell? From a single cell, how did we get an organism? We got an organism because of what is called as cell division. Cell divide hua, tabhi cells ke number bad gaye. Cells ke number bad gaye, is liye embryo bana, phir dheere dheere grow ho ke organs bana, phir organ systems bana, phir organism bana. So, why am I sharing this with you my dear students? Because I am teaching you the characteristics of cells. Don't forget we are studying cytology. I am teaching you characteristics of cells. So one of the key characteristics of cells is cell division. Okay? And students, we go further ahead. Cells have the ability to repair themselves. Okay? Cells have the ability of cell division. Okay, and every cell has the ability to keep itself in a healthy state. Okay, or what is called as a steady state. In biology, this is termed as homeostasis, where the word homeo means same stasis meaning state okay so everything remains steady okay so these are some of the concepts about cytology or these are some of the characteristics about cell but students i want to now share with you something more important so i will request you to please pay attention okay jo hamare cells hote hain in me ग्रो होने की क्षमता होती है डिवाइड होने की क्षमता होती है बट आफ्टर अ सर्टन स्टेज कोई कोई ऑर्गन्स में ये कैपेसिटी खत्म हो जाती है ओके आफ्टर अ सर्टन स्टेज दे कैन नॉट डिवाइड आई एम नॉट टॉकिंग अबाउट ओनली वन ऑर्गन आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट सम ऑर्गन्स ओके फॉर एग्जांपल हम जब तक जिंदा रहेंगे हमारा जो स्किन है our skin cells continue to divide forever and forever till the time you and me are alive but if we talk about the cells of the brain the cells of the brain after a certain age they will not further divide they will not further grow are you getting this okay so our cells have a limited ability to grow and they have a limited ability to regenerate regenerate mane fir se grow ho okay hamare body ke koi koi cells grow ho sakte hain for example skin par koi koi cells grow nahi ho sakte for example brain for example लिवर सेल्स लिवर सेल्स कुछ तेज तक हो सकते हैं पर अगर उनके अंदर कोई बीमारी हो जाए इफ दे गेट डिजीज देन दे कैन नॉट ग्रो अगेन सिमिलर विथ किडनी सेल्स ओके एंड देर फॉर वाई एम आई शेयरिंग दिस विथ यू ओके ये जो मैं आपको साइटोलॉजी का ये जो इंफॉर्मेशन दे रहा हूं दैट आवर सेल्स हैव अ लिमिटेड अबिलिटी टू ग्रो एंड रीजनरेट इससे हमें क्या जानना जरूरी है वॉट इज द प्रॉब्लम दैट वी कैन फेस बिकॉज ऑफ दिस 
I am writing it down. This can be a problem. So, sometimes when we get a disease and if our cells get damaged and if there is no natural if there is no natural growth or regeneration then there is a problem for example you know we all hear that when people drink a lot of alcohol the liver fails okay yeah hum sunte hai ki koi insaan hai bahut zyada alcohol peeta tha to uska liver kharab ho gaya aur uske baad kuch saal wo bimar raha aur fir wo mar gaya what happened to this person because of alcohol so i'm giving you now an example because of alcohol this person whom i'm talking about whose example i am giving you his liver cells have damaged but they have got damaged in such a way that now new liver cells are not getting formed and his liver is becoming smaller and smaller smaller and smaller okay they it finally the liver stops working because the cells have got destroyed dekho liver kis se hamare body sare ka sara body ke sare organs kis se bane hain सेल्स से बने हैं तो अगर सेल्स डिस्ट्रॉय हो गए तो हमारे बॉडी काम कर पाएंगे नहीं कर पाएंगे हमारा लिवर भी किससे बना है सेल से बना है हार्ट भी किससे बना है सेल से बना है तो जब यहां पे लिवर के सेल्स डैमेज हो गए इस एग्जांपल में जहां पे मैं बता रहा हूं अल्कोहल की वजह से लिवर के सेल्स डैमेज हो गए हैं तो लिवर अपना काम ठीक से नहीं कर पाएगा जब वो अपना काम ठीक से नहीं कर पाएगा तो हम कहते हैं कि वो फेल हो गया एंड देन दिस इज कॉल्ड एज liver failure now what can we do for this person most of the times this person will die but now today science is trying to do some discovery science has understood the problem why did this person die this person died because his cells did not have the ability to naturally grow and regenerate regenerate matlab fir se naye cell banne ki kshamta nahi thi so is it possible is problem ko solve karne ke liye is it possible ki hum aise cells develop kare ya hum aise cells dhoondne ki koshish kare jo grow ho sakte hain jo regenerate ho sakte hain aur jo बॉडी के नए नए सेल्स बन सकते हैं डिड यू अंडरस्टैंड दिस 